Thank you for joining us on The World Now. We begin with updates on the relocation of the former president of Sierra Leone, Ernest Koroma, to Nigeria. But there are indications that the allegations of treason against the former president could have serious implications on the political and civil landscape of the country. We have details in this report. There are divergent views and reactions about the current political situation in Sierra Leone. Dr. Imam, an international relations professor, explains that it is within the right and international protocols of a political leader to seek asylum anywhere in the world. They express concern over Sierra Leone's authorities' rejection of the offer by ECOWAS Commission to temporarily relocate President Koroma to Nigeria, saying it could unnecessarily heat up the polity. The implication would be very uh, serious. What is happening there could um, uh, uh, implode and explode and then take uh, Sierra Leone back to its... Um, everybody is praying that uh, it doesn't go to... Uh, the, the, the conflict uh, era where the country lost uh, more than 50,000 uh, people during its uh, civil war of 1991 to um, uh, 2000 and, uh, 2002. And of course, also creating antagonism between itself and the international regimes. This is not just um, an ECOWAS crisis. This is an EU crisis that if not handled with care, could snowball into having an international dimension. So therefore, I do not um, see that there isn't, as a matter of fact, any existing law, um, whether international or, and I believe so, even domestic within Sierra Leone, that um, the former leader should not be given asylum regardless of um, the trial that he's about to face. They also suggest that ECOWAS intensifies the use of diplomacy. ECOWAS must invoke some of its instruments, which allows it some um, degree of liberty to be able to um, um, incur into the situation, to be able to speak to the leadership of Sierra Leone to, you know, to, to come to an understanding, to have a reasoning and um, allow or grant the asylum for um, the former leader to come and have his stay in Nigeria while the trial is ongoing. It's in their interest, in the interest of uh, both the ruling party and the opposition, and then all political actors in Sierra Leone to collaborate and cooperate with the uh, ECOWAS and, um, you know, to make sure that uh, the country gets back um, on track for, for peace and then development. Issues such as this emphasizes the fundamental role leaders play in ensuring political stability and the need for ECOWAS to strengthen its instrument to be able to wield the necessary influence in the region. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. All right, let's bring in our foreign affairs correspondent, Moya Thomas. She joins us from Nigeria's capital, that's Abuja. Moya, thank you so much for joining us and keeping tabs on this developing story. What evidence has been presented to support the charges of treason against the former president? Um, I, I think that is one of the bone of contention at the moment, the fact that there are no enough evidence to actually prove the allegation. Uh, what from what my political sources told me right now, what they have is the fact that there are some money transfers within that period. And then the fact that there are money transfers is still not enough evidence to show that uh, or to prove his culpability in the, in the um, coup d'etat, uh, in the coup attempt of November 26. Uh, but, but one other thing that is also important uh, to also note at the moment is the fact that um, uh, the government is also saying because some of his aides were caught or were also part of the people that, uh, that carried out the attempted coup. But from what I also gathered from some citizens of the country, some of my colleagues in Sierra Leone that I spoke with, they said um, that some, a lot of these aides do not work with him personally anymore in his personal capacity. So it's uh, wrong to actually hold him on the fact, that, on the fact of what some other persons did. So that is still what is, uh, the trial is uh, going on. So as the trial goes on, we'll have more facts into the evidence the government has against him as at now. Stand trial in courtroom on Wednesday. But talk to us about the reaction of the public to these charges, because it seems that um, the pro former president is, seems to be a favorite of the people. 
Actually, that is also one of the things I got uh, that he's very popular, he's loved, uh, his policies were people friendly and he ruled the country from between 2007 to 2018, which is a long time. Uh, so he had actually built uh, this um, um, common, he has built this goodwill uh, with the people. So going by that, uh, it is also one of the reasons the ECOWAS is moving in to ensure this does not escalate or de-escalate or become another civil war in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is very fragile at the moment. We cannot, we can never forget uh, the experience, the civil war of uh, 1991 to 2002, where over 50,000 people died. So due to that, it is really the reason why ECOWAS is going strong on ensuring that this does not result to an ethnic division. And because right now people are saying because uh, former President Koroma is from the north and the current president, Madabio, is from the south, is one of the reasons uh, his lawyer actually called it a political vendetta. So that is reasons why the people and ECOWAS really need to put more pressure on President Madabio to uh, give in to the proposal or to the request of ECOWAS so that there will be peace in Sierra Leone. While we try to walk the path of peace, ECOWAS has described the outright rejection, you know, as being insulting to the commission. What options, you know, does the ECOWAS have now for the former president? Uh, so we are also still hoping that diplomacy and all, all the instruments of ECOWAS is the only thing ECOWAS will rely on to um, get this um, action done, bringing him, relocating him temporarily to Nigeria. And for now, we have not, um, as journalists, we have we yet to get the next of, line of action from ECOWAS. So we're waiting on them to let us know what the next line of action. But from what the experts have said, it is time for ECOWAS to actually strengthen his instrument so that he could do what he needs to do across the region in situations like this. So going back to the, the trial, the charges against the, pre, the former president, what legal processes, you know, just hypothetically, what legal processes will be followed in this case of treason against the former president? Because that's like the key point now, the fact that he is a former president of the state. Okay, if I get you right, I think you're asking what um, legal instruments they could use. Um, the Penal Code of South Africa of Sierra Leone, pardon me, says uh, for if he's found guilty of um, of treason, he could face life imprisonment. That is what the Penal Code of um, of um, of uh, Sierra Leone says. Mm -hmm. But then we have we have instruments, also instruments of echoes that not just ECOWAS, even the United Nations, that allows him, even while standing trial, to also seek asylum in any country of his choice. This is not the first time we have seen such. It happens to Charles Taylor, and then he, that brought peace to Liberia, and some other countries still have done that, and Nigeria is usually their choice of country to be hosted while the issues um, go a natural, take a natural dimension in being resolved. So right now, he has a right to actually seek asylum in Algeria, and uh, the government of Sierra Leone needs to respect that right and uh, let him get, since he has agreed, he has considered to come into Nigeria, they need to give him that to allow him to um, have that while the trial is on. When there's need to repatriate him back to uh, Sierra Leone to face trial, then that could be another discussion to be held at that time. Foreign Affairs Correspondent, Mia Thomas, thank you so much for bringing us updates from Syria, I know you're in the nation's capital. Well, heartbreaking news out of Perry.